Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello friends. Today uh, I will discuss some concepts how to convert one unit into another. So we have already discussed how units are working, how, the, how many number of units are there. So there are fundamental units, there are derived units. So let us see, let us just take a uh, relook what are the things that we have already studied. So we have already studied about fundamental units. So these are the units, these are used to create derived units. So fundamental units, there are many fundamental units. So uh, let us say we have already studied seven fundamental units out of that mostly th three used fundamental units are mass, time and length. Mass is the amount of substance present which is uh, derived by, you know, which is denoted by m and the dimension is kg. So we are basically using SI system. We can uh, use a CGA system also, there the mass will be grams. After that, uh, the most important unit which is time and that is symbol is t and it is dimension is second. And the third important unit which is also very very used which is length. Uh, the symbol of the length is meters and the dimension is m. Now there are other fundamental units that are uh, moles uh, is there then we have temperature, we have amount of uh, luminous intensity. Those are the units which will be which also we will discuss but those are uh, relatively less used. So let us discuss some derived units. So uh, we have uh, you know, taken some of them. There are many many derived units. Actually there are n numbers of derived units in uh, you know, actual uh, in nature and all. But uh, we will not use all of them. So let us start with velocity. Which is velocity? Velocity is uh, symbol is V and the dimension is meter per second. So this is basically meter per second. Means meter and second to the power minus 1. Then we have acceleration. Acceleration, the symbol for acceleration is A and the dimension of acceleration is meter into second uh, minus 2. So it is meter per second square. Then after that, uh, the another very important derived unit is energy or work. So basically it is denoted as E and the unit and the dimension is kg meter square second, uh, second uh, per second square. Then the next important unit which is also a very important derived unit is power. Uh, the dimension is W, uh, the symbol is W and uh, the dimension is kg meter square second to the power minus 3 which is second cube. Then volume as we all know volume is the uh, occupy how much space is occupying is actually the volume. So it is denoted by V and capital V or small v sometimes we can use capital V sometimes we use small v also and the dimension is meter cube. So this is also again SI units if it is CGS then it will be centimeter cube. So there are other conversions also we will just take a look in a while. Then the next important unit, uh, unit which is derived unit is moles. It is uh, denoted the symbol is N and it is denoted as MOL or mole. So we will discuss uh, you know, some of them one by one and we will try to solve also some problems. Let us start with uh, one, uh, one of them. So the very important unit which is length. So now we have to if we want to solve some problems related to this length we have to know the conversion factors. So the very first conversion factor that I am using is meter to feet and feet to meter. So uh, as we all know that uh, no, height in our uh, generally we say we never say that uh, we uh, our height is uh, uh, 1.5 meter or 1.6 meter or 1.8 meters we generally describe in feet. So uh, the 1 meter is 3.028 feet. Now let us discuss some uh, problems related to it. So let us say uh, some people some person has a height of 6 feet 6 feet okay and uh, he wants to convert that feet in meters. So we all know that uh, no, that 1 meter is 3.2028 feet. So 6 feet. So basically uh, the factor that we will be using is 1 meter divided by 3.2028 feet. So here 6 feet into 1 meter divided by 3.2028 feet. 
feet. So here, if we can just cancel this feet and feet, so it, we will be having 6 divided by 3.2028 meters. And then if you solve this equation, you will get exactly how much meters will be from 6 feet. So if you know this very simple formula, 1 meter is 3.2028 feet. And if you know the factor, so the factor, conversion factor is this, 1 meter upon 3.2028 feet. Then you can just do very simple mathematics and then you will get this 6 divided by 3.2028 meters. Next, uh, we can actually try this and we can know this is uh, this is 6 divided by 3.2028 meters and then if we want to convert in centimeters, so we just have to do one thing. Centimeter, so 1 meter is equal to 10 to the power 2 centimeter or 100 centimeter. So what is the conversion factor? 1 meter upon 100 centimeter. So the conversion factor is 1 meter by 100 centimeter and then if we just want to convert this meter into centimeter, we just have to do this simple mathematics, 1 meter, so this is meter and 1 meter, 100 centimeter. So 100 centimeter will be up, so this is not the thing, 100 centimeter and we have to use 1 meter. So this will be the factor, 100 centimeter and 1 meter, meter meter will get cancelled and the entire thing whatever the answer is coming will be centimeter. So we can very nicely very easily convert meter to feet and feet to meters and then you no know, centimeters all these conversions very nicely if you know this formula which is 1 meter is 3.2028 feet. The next is uh, sometimes we you know calculate uh, distance in kilometers. But uh, sometimes there is some other unit which is mile also is used sometimes. So kilometer and mile the conversion factor is 1 kilometer is 0.62137 miles. So 1 kilometer is 0.62137 miles. So we can calculate let us say we have uh, uh, 6, 60 miles and we want to convert this miles into kilometers. So what is the conversion factor? So we know that 1 kilometer is 0.62137 miles. And then we want to convert 60 mile, so 60 mile into 1 kilometer divided by 0.62137 mile. So what you will have is mile mile will get cancelled and you will get 60 divided by 0.62137 kilometer. And if you solve this, you will get how much kilometer it is coming out. So you can just very nicely calculate 1 kilometer into mile and mile into kilometer if you know this formula. So what, what important thing is, the important thing is this that we have to know this small small formula or if you can remember it is fine otherwise sometimes in question paper they give this uh, conversion factors and they ask to convert uh, 60 mile into you know, some kilometers or you can calculate some if you are if you are if you are getting kilometers then after that it will be very easy to calculate meters and centimeters also because we know that uh, 1 kilometer is equal to 10 to the power 3 meters. So 1 kilometer if you know and 10 to the power 3 meter if you know this formula. So if you just substitute that formula here you can very nicely uh, convert kilometer into meter and centimeter and other units also. So let us say that if you know this small small units small small formula of that conversion you will be very easily converting one unit to into other without any difficulty. So the next important thing is, uh, let us say we have already you know, talked about angstrom. What is one angstrom? One angstrom is nothing but one angstrom is nothing but 10 to the power minus 10 meters. So one angstrom is actually equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meters. So we can actually calculate this. We can calculate different different other units. So uh, let us say 20 angstrom. How many meters that will be? So we know that 1 angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So 20 angstrom will be 20 angstrom multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10, 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 1 angstrom. So my angstrom angstrom will get cancelled and it will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. 
So similarly, if you know that formula, you will be very nicely calculating one unit into other and other unit to do uh, another one without any very, without very, uh, no, great difficulty. Next, uh, we have to calculate sometimes inch and centimeter. So the formula for inch and centimeter is one inch is 2.54 centimeter. And then uh, we know that one centimeter is, uh, so one meter is 10 to the power two centimeter. So if it is one meter, is 10 to the power 2 centimeter. So 1 centimeter, how much that will be? It will be nothing but 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Just the conversion, it is just uh, very simple. 1 meter is 10 to the power 2 centimeter. If it is 1 centimeter, how much meter it will be? It is just uh, 1 divided by 10 to the power 2. It will come around 10 to the power minus 2 meters. And then if you just calculate this 2.54 centimeter and then if you calculate into meters, it will come around 2.54 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. So that will give 0 0.0254 meters. So and then uh, we can calculate 1 meters. So if 1 inch is 0 0.0254 meters, so how much 1 meter will be in inch? Let us calculate this. I have already calculated, but I will show you how to calculate that. So 1 inch. 1 inch is equal to 0 0.0254 meters. So we have to calculate 1 meter is to how much inch. So 1 meter is equals to 1 divided by 0.1 inch divided by 0 0.0254 is equals to 39.3701 so it will it will come around that uh, inch so by this way we can very nicely convert inch to meters and meters to inch if you know this formula so uh, we have uh, we have solved some uh, problems related to the derived units so we have solved uh, problems regarding mass now let us solve some other problems uh, let us take volume Volume is basically what? Volume is the amount, the space it is occupying in the uh, in the surrounding. So volume, let us solve some problems. So uh, let us say we have one meter cube and we want to convert it another uh, units. So we have one meter cube is 1000 liters uh, equal to 35.315 feet cube. And we want to solve some problems related to this. So let us say we have 100 meter cube, 100 meter cube and we want to solve it in, uh, we want to uh, convert this meter cube into feet cube. So we know that 1 meter cube is 35.315 feet cube. So we have to solve this in this way, 100 meter cube into 35.315 feet cube divided by 1 meter cube. So 1 meter cube, 1 meter cube will get cancelled. So we can have 35.315 into 100. So we will have 3531.5 feet cube. Similarly, if you have, uh, let us say we have, uh, we have, let's say 10 to the power or 10.5 liters. And we want to convert this into feet cube. So we know that 1000 liters is 35.315 feet cube. So we can have 10.5 liters multiplied by 35.315 feet cube divided by 1000 liters. Liters, liters will get cancelled and then finally we will have 10.5 into 35.315 divided by 1000 feet cube. So if you know the formula like this, 1 meter cube is how much feet cube and 1 meter cube is how much liters. So we can very easily convert liters into feet cube and uh, meter cube into feet cube and vice versa. So let us, cal uh, let us actually calculate some other problems also. So uh, the another important property which is mass. Mass is actually the amount of substance present. So let us say, let us calculate some problems related to this mass. 
so we have 1 kg and this is the formula in pounds so 1 kg is 2.20462 pounds so we all generally go to the market and buy vegetables or buy things so let us say we have we have 5 kg 5 kg of some substance 5 kg of sugar 5 kg of sugar and we have to convert this into pounds so we have to use this 5 kg multiplied by 2.20462 pounds divided by 1 kg kg and kg will get cancelled so you will get 5 into 2.20462 pounds so simply if you just calculate in this way it will be easy it will be easy for all of us to calculate how many kg is in pounds or how many pounds is in kg we can actually calculate the reverse also so if you have pounds if you have pounds and if you have to convert that in kg we can very simply do that so let us do one example 1 kg is 2.20462 pounds so let us say how much is for uh, 50 pounds 50 pounds into kg so 50 pounds is 50 multiplied by 50 pounds into uh, 1 kg divided by 2.20462 pounds pounds and pounds will get cancelled so you will get 50 divided by 2.20462 kg so 50 divided by 2.20462 kg so this many kgs will be 50 pounds so we can calculate if you know the formula of this you can calculate very easily from kg to pounds pound to kg and we know that how many kgs is 1 gram so uh, we can, we know that 1 kg is equal to 10 to the power 3 gram so we can also calculate it very simply if you know this in kg we can calculate this in grams or any milligrams or any other units whichever is possible the next important unit is velocity velocity is also a very important derived unit and we have to know some of the conversion factors what is that uh, in velocity so we have I have written that 1 meter per second is 3.3 3.6 kilometer per hour and then it is 2.2369 miles per hour and then we have to solve some problems so let us say some uh, vehicle is uh, going at a speed of 100, 100 miles per hour 100 miles per hour and we want to convert this 100 miles per hour into kilometers per hour how many kilometers per hour it is that so 100 miles per hour is 100 mph into 2.3.6 kilometers divided by 2.2369 mph which is miles per hour miles per hour miles per hour will get cancelled so we will have 360 divided by 2.2369 kilometers kilometers per hour and we can calculate this how much it comes so we can calculate any miles per hour into kilometers per hour or others thing or we can calculate kilometer per hour into miles per hour also if you know this conversion factors so uh, we will uh, we were calculating the value of velocity and then we have found out 100 miles per hour if you want to calculate it it will be 360 divided by 2.2369 kilometers per hour next important uh, concept hai, derived unit hai, wo hai force so we have the equation of force from Newton's second law of motion this P this is actually a force uh, force is M into A mass into acceleration and we will calculate some of the units regarding force so let us see we will start from SI unit so SI unit uh, for, for uh, the SI unit of force is Newton 1 Newton is equal to 1 kilogram into 1 meter per second square 
so acceleration the unit for acceleration as we have already discussed is meter into second inverse so it is si unit 1 kg into 1 meter per second uh, inverse 2 so if you want to convert this newton into the si unit it will be 1 kilogram to we have to convert 1 kilogram to gram so 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so what we will do we will just substitute 1000 grams into 100 centimeter inverse so it will become 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 gram centimeter second inverse to actually this unit for force in uh, CGS is dyne so 10 to the power 5 dynes so this is how you can calculate 1 newton is 10 to the power 5 dynes or and then after that if you want to convert 100 newtons or 20 or 25 newtons you can just use this formula 1 newton is 10 to the power 5 dynes and you can calculate the respective properties the next important concept that we will discuss will be energy so energy is 1 joule uh, we have written this formula is 0 0.10197 kg meters or 10 to the power 7 ergs so now if you have let us say you have 10 joules so how much in ergs it will be so 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 ergs so 10 joule is 10 joule multiplied by 10 is to 7 erg divided by 1 joule so it is actually equal to 10 to the power 8 ergs so we can calculate if you have 100 joule or any other numbers we can very easily calculate if you know the formula is 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 erg similarly if you calculate 1 joule is 1.10197 kg meters so 1 joule is point 10197 kg meters so how much will be for 100 joule 100 joule will be 100 multiplied by 100 joule multiplied by 0 0.10197 divided by 1 joule kg meters so it will be equal to uh, 10 point one nine seven kg meters so if you know the formula 1 joule is 0 0.10197 kg meter is equal to 10 to the power 7 ergs so you can very easily calculate the other formula by using this factors so we have to use these factors we have to remember these factors if you want to change one unit to other next important actually very important derived unit uh, fundamental unit actually fundamental unit is temperature fundamental unit is temperature and then temperature is expressed in three different uh, ways one is degree centigrade the next is kelvin and the other one is fahrenheit so let us say let us check what is the interconversion so we know that 0 degree centigrade is 273 k so what will be 27 degree centigrade 27 degree centigrade will be nothing but 273 plus 27k which is nothing but 300k similarly if we have 127 degree centigrade we just have to calculate it 127 plus 273 is equal to 400k so this is very simple which we can calculate we can convert degree centigrade into kelvin and kelvin into degree centigrade very easily if you know the formula 0 degree centigrade is 273 Kelvin. Next is uh, we have degree centigrade, we have Kelvin and we have Fahrenheit. So next is Fahrenheit. So let us see how much, what is the importance, what is the conversion of Fahrenheit and centigrade. So the formula is 1 degree centigrade is 5 upon 9 degree uh, centigrade plus 32. 5 upon 9 plus 32. Fahrenheit. So let us say we have 40 degree C, 40 degree C, which is equal to 5 over 9 into 40 plus 32 
Fahrenheit. So we can calculate it very easily. What is the interconversion of degree centigrade and Fahrenheit if you know this formula. So we can have any degree centigrade, let us say 100, 140, 150, 121 and we can just calculate it in this way. So we just have to do that 5 upon 9 into degree centigrade plus 32, it will give you the Fahrenheit. Next, the important conversion factor that we have to remember is this, which is 1 atmosphere is 76 centimeter of Hg. So basically 1 atmosphere is equal to 76 centimeter of Hg. So we have to calculate how much it comes around in, uh, no, uh, in, uh, in real. So 76 centimeter uh, in uh, the, the uh, pressure, pressure is equal to uh, height into density into G. So this is the formula for pressure. So this if you want to use 76 centimeter into density of mercury is we know that 13.6 uh, gram per cc into the g, g is 980 centimeter second square. So centimeter grams gram per cc gram per cc into 980 centimeter per second square will give you the atmospheric pressure. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.